I'm about to just walk in with them kids and be like, oh, I'm their, their chaperone. Hey guys, how's it going today? It's your boy Brandon. And Sora. So right now we're in New York still, and we just went to the Museum of Natural History. Oh my God, this line, 800 people deep. And there's four entrances Yeah. to get in. Every entrance has long key. Yeah, a long queue, long line, we're like stressed. We said, let's go get a coffee and a bagel. Bagel, $15, coffee five. I said, how? How this place so expensive? $15 for the sandwich, that's crazy. And it's raining. And then we gotta walk back to the subway act entrance again. Because I don't want to go into the outside entrance. I want to be in the warm entrance. We'll get the pizza, call it a day, and go stand in line. There are so many school buses. I think it's like a crowded. student event today. I'm trying to convince Sora to not go to the museum. Instead of going to this museum, let's just go to the museum in Washington, D.C. Because it's cheaper. And ain't nobody trying to spend $60 for three hours at a museum. How you doing? Good. 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 Which one do you want to do? It's a fresh mozzarella, a regular mozzarella, and tomato sauce. That one is, is honey spicy, brony pesto sauce, mozzarella cheese, and regular cheese. So with sausage, fresh mozzarella. We just had some really good pizza at a place called Ray's. Wasn't that expensive, about $10 for two slices, but it was really good slice that they had. I think it was worth it. I'm about to just walk in with them kids and be like, oh, I'm their, their chaperone. Okay, the wait outside isn't that long. They're letting people in quick. We made it inside. Okay. The American Museum of Natural History is a renowned museum located in New York City. It is one of the largest and most influential natural history museums in the world. The museum was founded in 1869 and is situated on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, adjacent to Central Park. The American Museum of Natural History houses an extensive collection of artifacts and specimens that showcase the diversity of the natural world. The museum exhibits cover a wide range of scientific disciplines including anthropology, archaeology, astronomy, biology, geology, and paleontology. Visitors to the museum can explore numerous permanent and temporary exhibitions. Some of the iconic displays include the Hall of African Mammals, the Hall of Biodiversity, the Hall of Human Origins, the Hall of Gems and Minerals, and the Rose Center for Earth and Space, which features the stunning Hayden Planetarium. The Hall of Biodiversity is a permanent exhibition that focuses on the incredible diversity of life on Earth. It aims to raise awareness about the importance of biodiversity and the various factors that threaten it. The Hall is designed to showcase the interconnections and interdependencies of different species and ecosystems. Several immersive dioramas depict various ecosystems from around the world, showcasing the diverse plants, animals, and environments found within them. These dioramas offer a glimpse into the natural habitats and showcase the intricate relations between organisms and their surroundings. The Hall of Biodiversity is intended to inspire visitors to appreciate and conserve the natural world. It emphasizes the importance of biodiversity and the need to protect and sustain Earth's rich tapestry of life. The museum has several exhibits dedicated to exploring human origin and cultural diversity. These exhibits provide insights into the evolutionary history of humans, their cultural expression, and the diversity of human societies across the globe. The halls include the Hall of Human Origin, an exhibit that explores the evolution of humans and our closest relatives, the primates. It showcases fossil evidence to illustrate the journey of human evolution from our early ancestors to modern humans the Hall of Eastern Woodland Indians, focusing on Native American culture of the Eastern Woodlands region of North America. The Northwest Coast Hall. The hall explores the rich cultural heritage of Native American people from the Northwest Coast of North America. The Hall of Mexico and Central America. This exhibition focuses on the ancient civilizations of Mexico and Central America, including the Maya, Aztec, and Olmec. It features sculptures, pottery, architectural models, and provides a glimpse into the complex societies. These exhibits, they showcase the achievements, challenges, and contributions of different societies through time, encouraging visitors to explore and respect the diverse tapestry of human cultures. How do you like it so far? Here? Mm -hmm. How do I like here? It's mm -hmm. fine. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. 
it's more for like kids. Yeah. But it's still interesting. Mm. So I'm still in. I'm, just, I'm enjoying it. Oh, there's a food car. Okay, so oh, where, 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 where should we go? This is what. Something. Yeah, I'm okay. Sora wanted to give you guys some statistics about biomes. Enjoy! This is island, covered 1.7% of the Earth's surface. This is grasslands and savannas, covered 7.6% of the Earth's surface. Tundra, 1.4% of the Earth's surface. Oceans, 70% of the Earth's surface. Deserts, 4%. Coral reefs and coastal wetlands. 1.2%. Oh shit. Did you go again? Believe it! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Believe it! B -b Believe it! The Ackley Hall of African Mammals is one of the iconic exhibits at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. The hall showcases a diverse array of African mammal specimens meticulously preserved and displayed in their natural habitats. The hall takes visitors on a journey through various African ecosystems representing different regions and habitats of the continent. It features immersive dioramas that recreate landscapes, wildlife, and vegetation of these areas, providing a realistic and educational experience. Some of the key features and highlights of the Ackley Hall are the dioramas. The hall contains a series of large dioramas depicting scenes from African savannas and deserts. The exhibit showcases an extensive collection of African mammal specimens, including elephants, lions, giraffes, zebras, rhinoceros, antelopes, and many others. The hall incorporates interactive elements that allow visitors to learn more about the animals, their adaptations, and their conservation status. The Ackley Hall of African Mammals not only offers a visually stunning display of African wildlife, but also aims to educate visitors about the importance of conservation and the need to protect these remarkable creatures and their habitats. The museum also had a bunch of interesting insect paintings on the wall. They were pretty cool. So now we're gonna go see our presentation on the Big Bang narrated by the one and only Liam Nelson. Sadly, we weren't able to record the presentation, but it was pretty good though. It's a space time, yeah. At least it stopped snowing and raining. So this pathway is showing us how our galaxy has changed over the past billions and billions of years and the formation of the universe as we know it. Wow. What? You what have to it? read books. Yeah. We have to read books. Yeah. I might get Harry Potter and Korean. What? You wanna try something? This shows what your weight would be on the moon. 21 pounds? Or is that kilos? 21 pounds. pounds. 25 pounds? Working out. <laughs> That's good. I'll take 25. 25 pounds is a lot. The Rose Center for Earth and Space, also known as the Hayden Planetarium, is a prominent part of the American Museum of Natural History in New York. It's a state-of-the-art facility dedicated to astronomy, astrophysics, and the exploration of the universe. Key features and attractions of the Rose Center include the Hayden Planetarium, 
the centerpiece of the Rose Center, which is one of the most advanced and renowned planetariums in the world. It offers immersive and visual stunning shows that take visitors on virtual journeys through the cosmos, exploring distant galaxies, stars, and planets. The Big Bang Theater offers a multi-sensory presentation that explores the origins of the universe. Visitors can witness a dynamic audio-visual display and depicts the Big Bang, the event that gave birth to our universe. The Rose Center also houses several exhibitions that delve into various aspects of space science, including the formation of stars and galaxies, the explorations of other planets, and the search for extraterrestrial life. The Rose Center for Earth and Space at the American Museum of Natural History is a captivating destination for anyone interested in astronomy, space exploration, and the wonders of the cosmos. It combines cutting-edge technology, educational displays, and immersive experiences to inspire a sense of wonder and curiosity about our place in the universe. The American Museum of Natural History in New York is renowned for its impressive fossil halls, which house a vast collection of fossil specimens from various periods of Earth history. These halls provide a fascinating glimpse into the evolution of life on our planet and showcases the incredible diversity of extinct organisms. The fossil halls at the museum consist of several sections and exhibits, including the Hall of Sericia Dinosaurs. This exhibit focuses on the group of dinosaurs known as the Sericians, which include famous species like the Trinosaurus rex and the Aptosaurus. It also includes the Hall of Ornithischian Dinosaurs, this hall is dedicated to ornithischian dinosaurs, a diverse group that includes herbivore species like Triceratops and Stegosaurus. There is also the Hall of Vertebrate Origins. This exhibit focuses on the early evolution of vertebrates, tracing their origins from ancient fish to the emergence of early land-dwelling organisms. Also, there is the Hall of Primate Mammals. This exhibit explores the evolution of early mammals and their rise to dominance following the extinction of dinosaurs. It showcases fossils of ancient mammals and their relatives, including the iconic saber-toothed cats, mammoths, and early primates. Last but not least, the Milestein Hall of Advanced Mammals. This hall explores the diversity and evolution history of advanced mammals, including primates, whales, elephants, and other modern-day mammals. It presents specimens, dioramas, and interactive displays that shed light onto the adaptations and ecological roles of these animals. Throughout the fossil halls, visitors can learn about paleontology, the science of studying fossils, and the methods used to unearth, analyze, and interpret these ancient remains. I got a Rubik's Cube. Are you ready for third floor? Third floor? We're gonna try the third floor now? Let's go check. Let's go to the show. Okay, you guys. We just finished the American National History, Me History Museum in New York. History. <laughs> I can't even speak English. See, I learned so much. I learned so many languages today. So, we good. Anyway, now we are going to get some lunch and head to the Daily Show and walk towards there. Obviously, we can't film inside the Daily Show, but we'll show you a little bit of it. Anyway, what did you uh, think? It's huge. It's huge. I feel like the kids know better than us about the history and the animals and stuff. This is like mind blowing, like really interesting history museum. I really liked it. And we spent more than three hours. We didn't even finish it. It's just really big museum. You have to go there. 10 o'clock and maybe you can finish it when it's closed. I really enjoyed it. I was wearing two jackets so I had to hold it. So I wish they had like a coat check. coat check or something like that. They had like coat check and stuff. It would be really nice. You should check it out. If you have a chance to come to New York, this is the must go places. 